Hey, what's up everybody? Hope you are all doing well. My name's Tobias and welcome to Microphone Mondays where I upload new microphone videos every Monday. And in today's video, I'm going to tell you guys which mono USB condenser microphone I think is the best. I own four USB condenser microphones by Mono. They are the PM421, the PM401, the A04, and the PM461TR. And I'm going to break this video up into three parts. First, I'm going to tell you guys about the microphones and talk a little bit about their physical differences. Then I'm going to do several different audio tests where I will switch between the four microphones pretty quickly so we can get a sense for how they sound next to each other. And then in the end, I'm going to put the microphones in order from my most favorite to my least favorite in regards to how they sound. And if at any point, if you decide that you like this video or if this video helps you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like, that would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to go down there and hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. And let's go ahead and get started by taking a look at the prices of these microphones on Amazon. So first we have the PM421 and it goes for $79.99. Then we have the PM401, which goes for $53.99. Then we have the A04, which goes for $48.99. And then we have the PM461TR, which is the least expensive microphone out of the four, and it goes for $29.90. And I'll go ahead and put the Amazon links for all of these microphones down in the description below in case you want to check those out for yourself. And if you want to know which microphone I'm using at any given time, I'll go ahead and put it right here in the corner of the screen. And there's actually one thing I want to talk about really quick about the Mono AUA04. In mid-2020, there was a microphone chip shortage for the A04s, so they started putting in a new chip inside the microphones, and apparently the A04s that came with that chip did not sound as good as the old A04 chips. I got the A04 that I have back in 2019, so it has the old chip, and I'll go ahead and put a picture of it here on the screen, but the old chip should say on it ALC4042. Now, I thought that they were going to switch back to the old chip once the chip shortage was over, and I'm not 100% sure if they have done that or if they haven't done that because recently I have had someone tell me that they bought an A04 and it sounded bad yet I have had other people tell me that they bought it and it sounded good so I suspect that some people are still getting that chip that they were putting out during the chip shortage and some people might be getting the old chip which is the chip that sounds good and the chip that sounds good should say on it ALC4042. So my advice to you guys, if you are going with an A04, I would suggest opening it up and checking which chip you have, or if you plug it in and you're using it and it sounds bad, or if it sounds distorted or something, I would suggest that you just return it. If you look here on the Amazon page, they do offer free returns. I'm not sure if they offer that everywhere, but here in the US, I live in California, they do offer free returns. So I just wanted to mention that really quick. And let's go ahead and get started with some of the physical differences between these four microphones. So one cool thing is that all of these microphones are compatible with a smartphone if you have an OTG adapter like this one right here. I'll go ahead and put the links for these down in the description below as well. The one I have right here is for an iPhone. It's a USB to lightning cable adapter, but there are other ones out there that do work with Androids. Now, if we take a look at the PM421, the PM401, and the AUA04, they all come in a pretty similar USB condenser microphone bundle kit, which includes a boom arm stand, a pop filter, and a wind muff. In addition to that, the A04 also comes with a tripod desk stand. The PM461TR, on the other hand, doesn't come with that stuff, it actually just comes with a tripod desk stand and a wind muff. The PM421 has a mute button on the mic and also a gain knob. The PM401 has a mute button and a headphone jack on the mic. The A04 doesn't have any additional features on the microphone, and then the PM461TR does have a gain knob on the front of the microphone, which is pretty convenient. And that just about covers all the physical similarities and differences between these microphones. Let's go ahead and get started with our audio tests. I'm going to do several different audio tests where I will switch between the four microphones. And while I'm doing that, try to decide for yourself which microphone you like the sound of the most. First, we're going to take a listen to the noise floors. See if you can hear like an underlying hiss noise. That will be the noise floor.
Right now I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the PM421. Right now I am tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the Maono AU A04. Now this is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the PM401 and talking at the same time. Now this is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on my computer's keyboard directly behind the PM461TR. Right now I'm tapping on my desk right behind the PM421. Right now I am tapping on the desk right behind the A04. This is what it sounds like when I'm talking and tapping on my desk right behind the PM401. This is what it sounds like when I'm tapping on my desk directly behind the PM461TR. Right now I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the PM421. Right now I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the Mono AUA04. This is how it sounds when I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the PM401. And this is how it sounds when I'm standing roughly 5 feet away from the PM461TR. Now let's go ahead and take our final listen to the Mono PM421. And let's go ahead and take our final listen to the Mono AUA04. And let's go ahead and get our last listen in to the PM401. And now let's go ahead and get our last listen in with the PM461TR. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back, listen to all this audio, and then I'll let you guys know what I think. And I'll put the microphones in order from my favorite sounding microphone to my least favorite sounding microphone. Okay guys, so after reviewing that audio, the order that I put these microphones in from my most favorite to my least favorite are number one being my most favorite sounding microphone out of the four, the PM401, which is the microphone that you are hearing right now. I think it had the lowest noise floor out of the four microphones and it also sounded the smoothest. The PM421 was a close second, but I think that it had a louder noise floor than the PM401. And the PM401 just had that rounder smooth smoother sound. I would probably say that my third favorite is the A04, although in my opinion it's just really close to the PM461TR. I think the PM461TR and the A04 sound pretty close to each other. Although if you are trying to decide between the A04 and the PM461TR, you may want to take into consideration that the PM461TR does have that gain knob on the front of the microphone, and the A04 does come with that whole boom arm stand setup. So for each person, it may be different, but those might be some of the deciding factors for you. Personally, I do like having the boom arm stand, and it's not a big deal for me. I could just go into my system preferences, and I could adjust the input volume there. Although, having said that it is pretty convenient just having the gain knob on the front of the microphone like that however having said all that i'm looking at the prices right here and i think you should also take the prices into consideration the pm401 is only a few dollars more expensive than the a04 it's only 53 dollars and 99 cents Personally, that is the microphone that I would choose, but I would love to hear what you guys think. Do you agree with me in the way that I ranked these microphones, or do you disagree with me? Did you have a different favorite sounding microphone than I did? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did like this video, or if this video helped you out, I would really appreciate it if you went down there and gave this video a like. That would help me out so much. And if you would like to see more videos by me in the future, make sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit that bell notifications button. I upload a bunch of different kinds of videos to my channel, but on Mondays. I always do microphone videos. If you'd like to follow me on Instagram, I'll go ahead and put my handle right here. It's at YT underscore Tobias, and I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Peace!